five minutes with Eric. So this is your reminder that every year you need to renew your companies. In the state of Florida, it's done by filing what's called an annual report. You need to update who the responsible parties are. Now, a common mistake people make is they'll put down members for LLCs. That is telling the world who the owners are. I like to be a little bit more private. So the minimum you have to do is at least one officer, director, or in the case of an LLC, a manager. So even though the manager might also be a member, I totally prefer to put manager as the title. You need to typically update the address, pay a fee. It's $138.75. And if you don't do it by May 1st, there's a penalty. And if you don't get that sorted out by September, they will administratively dissolve your company which uh, has a lot of implications because technically your company is no longer in good standing. And some of the things that, that come up is, well, what does that really mean? Well, on the one hand, if you wanna get your company back in good standing, there's a even bigger penalty and every year that goes by, they just keep adding onto it. So it could end up being thousands of dollars to get your company, if it's been a couple years, back in good standing. So don't make the mistake, don't have it be like, oh, whoops, I totally forgot. Um, typically accountants remind you the, if you used any service like a uh, registered agent service, they'll remind you, your lawyer should remind you. And so make sure you get it done. Every state has different deadlines. Uh, uh, Florida's is May 1st. Now, why are some of the reasons we would do this? Well, one of the main ones is if you don't do it and here's the fact pattern. Okay. Here's the fact pattern. Somebody sues your company for whatever reason they win the lawsuit, right? So they win and at the end of the lawsuit, they end up with a judgment that says that your company owes them money. Then they pursue your assets of the company and let's just say that the company doesn't have enough assets to satisfy the judgment. And so then they're gonna try to figure out a way to convince the judge to do what's called piercing the corporate veil. So piercing the corporate veil means we're gonna avoid the limited liability, by the way, that is provided by both LLCs or corporations both of them have limited liability, that's the concept. And what limited liability means is that all that the investor, the owner, puts at risk is whatever he puts into the company. So this actually comes from way back in the day with the East, East India Dutch Trading Company. And so the way it used to work is, let's say you invested in, um, in a ship that's gonna go around the world and it's gonna go get spices from the Orient and it's gonna come back. But the ship fails, right? The ship goes down, it gets stuck in a storm then potentially all the investors could be, could have to file for bankruptcy, so to speak. They could literally, the, the other people could go after all of their assets. And so somebody was like, hey, that's not fair. All that the investor should put at risk is what he or she puts into the company. So for example, if I invest in Apple computers and Apple computers goes out of business, they're not gonna come take away my house and my car. All I lose is what I invested in the company. So that, that logical, right, that makes sense. Well, piercing the corporate veil is a legal argument that this person who has the judgment against your company and your company is unable to satisfy the judgment, they're gonna make that argument to the judge. And there's a couple different arguments they can make. The most common is commingling of funds. So what I'm gonna do is if, I, if I'm the judgment creditor's lawyer, I'm gonna get my hands on the credit card statements and the bank statements of the company, which is not impossible. And then I'm gonna sit there with a highlighter and I'm gonna look for everything that looks personal. Like grocery store, that looks personal. Uh, steakhouse on Saturday night with your wife, that looks personal. Disneyland looks personal, right? And so I'm gonna add all those up and I'm gonna go to the judge and say, look judge, they co-mingled their assets, so obviously they can't hide behind the limited liability. They're using the company as their personal piggy bank, so they should personally be liable for the company's debts. That's the most classic argument. Another argument, which has been successful many times, is that the company fails to follow the corporate formalities. So corporate formalities, let's, let's talk about it real quick. Corporations must have a board of directors, they have annual shareholder meetings, they have annual director meetings, they elect officers, they keep written minutes of everything, they have a, a physical minute book, they have a company seal, they have a stock ledger, they have stock certificates, and they need to do all this stuff every year. Those are the corporate formalities. LLC, much, much easier. All of that stuff I just said is optional for an LLC. But at the very minimum, the LLC needs to pay its taxes and file its annual reports every year. So if I'm the guy suing that company and the company's trying to plead uh, that they're insolvent or they, they don't have assets to pay my debt, if I can prove that they're not in good standing, they haven't done their annual report for many years, they probably don't have a minute book and annual meetings and all of those other formalities. Now, I'm still gonna make the argument to the judge, even for an LLC, I'm like, judge, they don't even have a minute book. 
Now, I, I know that the law says it doesn't need to have a minute book. The corporation does. But basically, if I can show that they're not filing their annual reports, that's going to be one of my big arguments to try to shut them down and get personal liability on the owners to pierce the corporate bill. So guys, I know this is complicated, very simple. Make sure you do your annual reports by May 1st in Florida. If you have any questions, leave a comment below or reach out to me directly.